Hey guys, what is going on? Beat on the beat here. In this video, I would like to give you some tips on how to get the most out of your sodium intake and how to not cut salt of your, out of your diet in order to get the best pump possible and the best results as long as for your cognitive performance and your performance in the gym. So without further ado, I would like to start with the simple fact that there is a huge misconception going and there is one common mistake that a lot of people do, they cut salt entirely out of their diet because they, they think they've been told that the sodium is bad, the salts are bad, they will make them puffy, bloated. There are actually a lot of people who think that salt is going to make them fat or whatever, so this is certainly not true. And they think all of this because they, they know the fact that sodium retains water and this is true and matter of fact as long as I know if I have to be precise and this is true to a certain extent but as long as I know salt basically retains the same amount you consume by 180 this is true so on our hand sodium is something that is extremely important and very essential for our bodies it's one of the three most important electrolytes magnesium potassium and the third one is salt it's extremely necessary for the sws the slow wave sleep uh, this is one of the deepest phases of our sleep like the REM sleep the rapid eye movement in this particular phase our brain during this particular phase when we sleep our brain basically exchanges the brain cells exchange like uh, potassium magnesium and salt so it's really important that when people cut salt entirely from their diet they basically often feel like crap this can lead to anxiety depression fluctuations in the mood and all these bad things so in order to avoid this you need to do a technique that is called the term as long as i know it's called hyperhydration and what i mean by this is you need to consume the exact same amount of salt and water each and every day so in order to get this vascular look and excrete all the excess water you need to do only one thing you need to suppress a certain hormone and this hormone as you probably already know if you're familiar with the thing that i'm trying to explain is called aldosterone this hormone in your body basically makes you retain water in excess water so what you need to do is keep your sodium intake even for like 8 to 10 days or even more it depends on the certain individual and your water intake even during the the same period of time for example you drink a gallon of water a day it can be more it can be less again it depends on the certain individual and for example you consume right around a gram or two grams of sodium from external source let's say external source so after 10 days you start to excrete all the excess water and you get this really dry vascular fuller look and you ain't gonna cramp and on another hand you're gonna feel really really good and there will be no anxiety and no stress no bad moods at all so what you need to do is to keep your sodium intake same in the same exact measurements for like 10 days so if you really have hard time to do this by adding a little bit of salt sprinkle some salt on on your meals or whatever the thing that i'm about to show is really effective and it's really obvious but a lot of people get it wrong so you can simply use an expensive a little scooper such as this one if you are like a, a sea salt user another thing that i would like to mention is whatever salt you prefer to use make sure it's really high in iodine this is the most important thing when you want to pick the the right type of salts so if you have really hard time to get the same exact amount when you are Himalayan pink rocks user the best thing to do is to get them little rocks and scale them on your scale it's obvious but it's really really effective and I'm pretty sure you ain't gonna get it wrong. This is the best way to not mess things up. 
and there is no necessity to add salt to your food if you feel like you're gonna mess things up you can drink the salt you can uh, you can throw it simply in your mouth if, if this will be a lot easier for you there is no there is no particular requirements how to take the sodium the only thing that you should pay attention to is the, the amount you should keep the, the same exact amounts during this period of time so another thing that i would like to make clear and you should definitely pay attention to is the fact that there are a lot of foods that contain uh, salt naturally for example one of the most known examples for this ones for this one are the eggs uh, as you probably know the egg whites of the eggs contain a lot of salts so keep that in mind when you're trying to master the hyperhydration method a lot of people prefer to avoid eggs completely in order to get the sodium only from the external source such as salt because to a certain extent that really gives you more control over the situation if that makes any sense for you so yeah guys this is basically everything I wanted to say in this video and share. So if you find the video helpful or useful, please you can click on the thumbs up button down below. If you're interested in more videos like this one, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will be so happy if you do this. I try to put out content daily. You probably already know this if you are already a subscriber. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. I would like to thank you for watching this video. Please stay tuned for more. Have a nice one. Peace and